This introduction to tracking renewable electricity has been taken from the full course Green Power for Lead and Carbon Accounting. The course was published by the German Green Building Association in cooperation with EcoEnergy, the international eco-label for electricity. As we all know, in the electricity grid all power mixes. There is no way to physically separate electricity produced from wind, coal or nuclear unless you were to build different electricity grids. So if you live close to a nuclear power plant, it's very likely your home will be powered by that nuclear power. However, in several parts of the world, decision makers have introduced choice to the electricity market. The clearest example of this is the liberalization of the electricity market. Basically, this means that consumers can choose who puts electricity on the grid. But freedom to choose doesn't just stop there. A growing number of suppliers are giving consumers the possibility to choose green energy contracts. This is the direct result of a growing demand for renewable electricity in a market that is increasingly concerned about the environment and climate change. To make it possible to choose specific types of electricity, accountancy systems have been set up. States and regulators have databases to track which electricity has been put on the grids and to attribute that electricity to specific electricity sellers or electricity consumers. The database functions as a book and claim system. The book side of the system registers what has been put on the grid. For each megawatt hour produced, the producer gets a certificate. Then sellers and buyers can claim that specific electricity. The rule is simple, only the one who has the certificate can claim the specific electricity as theirs. For many people, the concept of tracking electricity is difficult to grasp. Electricity is already in itself a difficult thing to visualize and understand. But it may be easier if you compare it to a similar existing system for a different, more tangible product. Think of an orange juice company. For example, 30% of their oranges come from fair trade producers and 70% from non-fair trade producers. For technical reasons, fair trade oranges can get mixed with non-fair trade oranges in the processing plant. As a result, it is impossible to tell which cartons contain juice produced on a fair trade farm and which do not. However, the orange juice company can label 30% of their orange juice cartons as fair trade. It's up to the fair trade labeling organization to check this process. And from orange juice, back to the electricity market. In Europe, the tracking system for electricity is called the Guarantee of Origin System, which is abbreviated as GEO. Guarantees of origin are obligatory for any communication about renewable electricity. In some countries, they can also be used to track fossil fuels and nuclear energy. In the United States, the tracking certificates are called Renewable Energy Certificates, or RECs. Both the REC and the Guarantee of Origin system are standardized. They issue certificates for each megawatt hour produced and each certificate gives detailed information about the electricity, including the name of the production unit and the date of production. You could say that they are the identity cards of the electricity. Guarantees of origin are valid for a maximum of one year, and RECs are valid slightly longer. This means that there is no real time match between the production and the consumption. For example, if a Danish wind turbine produces 100 megawatt hours in January 2015, it gets 100 guarantees of origin. And a consumer using 100 megawatt hours between January 2015 and December 2015 can use these guarantees of origin produced in January and then claim that their whole annual electricity consumption is from wind power. Thanks for listening. Feel free to contact us if you want more information. 
or watch the full course at the USGBC Education website.